just left uh, you know, Highway 49, I'm on 20, going towards Penn Valley, and uh, just went past the fairgrounds on the left here, to give you an idea, but I thought I would just take this, showing you uh, the travel out here to that property on Call it a subdivision, but like I say, subdivision would be like this probably has 10 houses. We don't have any big ones except for like Morgan Ranch there in Grass Valley. Another small one starting up over by Ridge Road, uh, across from the Ridge Feed Company. A small development. It's probably going to be 20 or 25 houses there. Um, like I say, this one's new construction. that stuff. It's just, you know, something to compare with. The one on Cassie Road, yeah, I agree. It's, uh, they got a pretty good price on those. Um, but the acreage, whatever it is, so it was 15. So the one with the improvements would be uh, about 12 acres. I guess they put part of the thought and money in uh, the old schoolhouse thing they built or whatever it was. one down here has the advantage of backing up to Gateway Park, I heard, and it's, you know, definitely walking distance to uh, the little places in Penn Valley, which are kind of quaint, nice, but it may not have that vacation retreat feel that I think you're kind of looking for, but go check it out. Barry's just talking away here. Day after Veterans Day. Beautiful sunny day. It's supposed to rain here on Wednesday, I guess. But um, left, just left Nevada City. Farmers Market going strong. Front of the office. A lot of people now milling around. You can see this is a pretty busy road, 65 miles an hour, going down the hill, kind of at the bottom of the hill down here will be the Penn Valley, if you turn left you'll go into Penn Valley, if you turn right it turns into Rough and Ready Highway which is to the town of Rough and Ready which takes you, if you just stay on that it takes you into Grass Valley on Main Street where the these are meaning the Old Brick Hotel and all the, all the uh, rest of it. So this is um, Penn Valley Drive to the left. And this gas station, you can't see the actual little village of Penn Valley, but it's just a kind of a, there's some nurseries and a shopping center you might call it, but it's kind of one of the old fashioned flat, single level little shops and a few restaurants. And the actual park
park that we gave her third is up here and there's a left. Straight ahead is Bud Valley Road about two miles. If you take the right there, then you're going to um, about a mile. On the left on the right side will be Lake Wildwood, where there's two entrances, south and north. There's probably ten thousand homes there. Holiday Market, which is like a full fledged group. Valley or from 49, we've driven 10 miles. Prepare to turn left in half a mile, then turn left. Oh, wait a minute, we haven't driven 10 miles. <laughs> Forget that. I haven't reset it since I left my Take last. The next left onto Penn Valley Drive. My last then destination. Turn left. So I don't really have a. Uh, it's not that far. We've gone. Uh, on the camera since I turned it on there, six minutes and 40 seconds. So if you turned right here, you go to Lake Wildwood. If you go straight, you're going, now, turn left. You're going out and, uh, to Moon Flat Road and Lake Inglebright, which is a very lovely lake. Actually, there's power turbines for electricity, which not many people know about at the end of it. It supplies electricity for Beale Air Force Base. Flat Road in that area, Lake Inglebright to go up further, and then there's the turn you take on the right to go to um, Brown Valley and then Brownsville to a place called Challenge, and then you're going over to Butte County. Now turn left. Some of Dorothy. Oh yeah, I see the flag on the. <laughs> so we're going to go up here and get some storage units here on the left. Take the next left onto Valley Oak Court. Oh, that's where it is. So yeah, it does kind of back up to the Gateway Park, which, which would be and then Penn Valley Crawford, the little village of, is, you know, as you say, it's walking distance there. So here's Valley Oak. Now, turn left. Valley Oak Drive. So it's definitely more, you know, smaller parcels. But you have reached your destination on the right. Although this one's kind of, yeah, it's kind of unique. Down here at the end, possibility of maybe somebody building around here, but, you know, it's kind of unique. It's kind of like by itself, and the park is in the back over there. So, yeah. Yeah, huh. neat the grounds. I'll get out and finish this video off. It's nine minutes now. The sachet. I'm working the chainsaw today. The leaves they be falling. These are live oak trees. There's the septic. Gravity flow, standard system. Uh, you do get a little of the proverbial, it's 20 over there, so not if you can hear or see it over there. It's a car over there, but. It's like a little pond back here in the winter time. So 
storage underneath here. Big crawl space. Got a dual pack for the heat and air conditioning. Looks like nice construction. This is a big boy. The efficiency train. I see this is just like a separate deck off of what I'd be guessing. It's probably a master bedroom or something. It's just an entrance. A little unusual. Put some color in the <coughs> concrete. If that's right, it doesn't have a looking for what I guess isn't there. The garage, which could have would have been back here, I guess. Huh. Well that's not a selling point. But since we're here, I'll take one inside now. 